we're four days into the Savvy Sexy Social Vlogging Every Day in April Challenge. And uh, today's topic is tell us something you love about Mondays. So on Mondays, I take a little bit of extra time to plan the week ahead. I take a look at things that I wasn't able to accomplish last week, schedule those, look at my obligations for the week ahead, and then add those to the list. And then I take a look at how the priorities might have changed over the course of the week. Now to do this, I use OneNote, which is a free application. I'll put a link down in the description and uh, you'll be able to go and get it for yourself. But I use uh, numbering on the to-do list tasks and try and figure out which one has the higher priority over the others. Uh, I usually do this by comparing just the one above and below and kind of move them up and down within the list. There's actually a really cool hotkey that I'll also put in the description that tells you, that lets you bump things up and down in a list. It really speeds things up over alternatives I've seen. After I go through the list, I look and I see if there are any items that require other people to do something. For those items, I go and document the sub steps and then fire off emails to people or have conversations to help get those steps in the works. With those steps in the pipeline, I can move on to other tasks. As the last step in my task list, I go through and check my email really quick. I practice the inbox zero method, so it's a pretty quick process of going through and deleting any emails that are not really important, delegating any tasks that require input from others before I can begin, deferring any items that I'm not ready to work on right away or that aren't very urgent. So when I defer these, I'm actually going to put them on my calendar and schedule a specific time to revisit them. And the do items I prioritize in my task list. I also find it helps to only work on one item at a time. If you prioritize your task list, then you know that the number one item is the most important thing. You work on that until it either is complete or becomes less important than something else. Then you switch to that. But you try to avoid task switching too quickly because there's a lot of time wasted there. I also take a moment to take a look at the week ahead, see if there are any meetings I have. But the thing I love most about Mondays is that the weekend are the furthest days away. This gives me the most time to plan for the things that I'm going to enjoy then. So there you have it. The best thing about Mondays is you have a whole week to plan for next weekend. And if you organize it just right, you might actually get everything done before then. So that's it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.